So welcome um, to, our, to yet another video. In this video, we'll be doing a bit of uh, Excel or an intro to Microsoft Excel. Uh, Microsoft Excel is basically a spreadsheet uh, platform where you can be able to use spreadsheets for different things. So some of you might not know what spreadsheets are. But spreadsheets pretty much um, is a document that you can have multiple variations of data and uh, there is no limit to it. So let's get started. So um, when we open our spreadsheet, at the top there we get uh, a book one, which is Excel. At the bottom we have a sheet. So these are the sheets. So you can have as many sheets as is possible. I think you can have at least a million of these sheets, roughly. I've never gone into to the end of it, but I think you can get up to about a million. And then you've got these rows and columns where you start from A all the way to the next. Um, like, for example, I can say A, Z, 1. I click on Enter. And then you can actually see that I've moved from the location that I was on to AZ. I can also uh, do one or rather 900. I don't think I can do. All right. No, no, no. I think I can do it this way. I can say AZ one. 1020 whereby i'm actually on az but i'm on 1020 i can also do cb 200 whereby i actually come to a cell called cb and 200 i can also put f f 3600 no 3560 where i'm actually on f 3560 so in general we are simply saying we can be able to have different uh values that we can actually use this uh name box for the next box we've got is the formula box whereby we can create formulas and work with formulas for different variations so in other words we're, the, we're simply saying we can have as many uh, options as is possible for example i can actually try and say let's go for f 26580 like that i can click on ok and then you actually see i'm still going so in other words the, the content is actually not limited to what you can have and all you then need to know is how to actually navigate and start from uh, a specific location. Okay, so that's for, for this particular box. The next box uh, or the next elements would be we can be able to change the layout. For example, if I select this layout, um, I'll then split my content into two pages. If I select the next layout, I then also view my pages like that. I can also play around with the size where I can increase or decrease the size. From there, I can also uh, just go back to the default. So um, let's get started. We would also need to maybe work through um, a couple of things that uh, we need to know about Excel or we need to be able to use about Excel. So each element has a fixed set of values. And to get the values that we've got, we need to come here where it says general. And then we can be able to see the values that we can work with, which is general, no specific format, number, currency, accounting, short date, long date, time, percentage, fraction text we've also got more formulas 
where we can actually put a custom value. Uh, we can also have a scientific and special value. So in other words, each element that we select, we can also have a sample of what that uh, value shows. So if it's number, it gives us number. If it's currency, it gives us currency. If it's accounting, uh, it gives us whatever it is that we want to account for. Uh, if it's a date, it gives us how that date works. If it's a time, it shows us how that time works. If it's a percentage, it just gives us in terms of uh, decimal places. If it's a fraction, it gives us a, a fractional value to it. If it's scientific, it gives us decimal places as well. If it's text, it's just normal text. If it's special, we can then spe specify whatever special element it is. If it's custom, we can then put custom values to support our content. At the same time, we can align our text to view our text in uh, a specific element, whereby we've got horizontal or vertical. We've got the text design. We've also got the font, how the font looks. Uh, we've got the border. We've got the fill. We've also got a protection, so we can protect ourselves based on what we want to do. But it does not make any sense if we've got no sample data. Um, sample data will help us to navigate whatever it is that we want to do. So there's many options that we can use in our Excel. So let's say we want to get data that is specific. So our data can have any range of value. Let's say we want to put days, times, and a person who's on duty. So let's say, for example, we say day, we then say time, we say person, we say contact, we say um, location, right? This can be um, something, it's just something that I thought of on the fly, whereby we can have a roster, where the roster gives us a uh, specific items that we want to work with. Um, maybe let's have a rate as well. Uh, let's have a percent. Okay, so we've got the day, we've got the time, we've got the person, we've got the contact, location, rate, and percent. So how we then do it is we can simply say this particular cell, we go to where it says general, and then we say we want the time. Uh, this we don't change, that we change because we want a number. So we can say we want a number. Uh, this we can leave it at that. Rate would want to change it. And our rate, we want it to be a fraction. Our percentage, we also want it to be a percentage, like that. So this then helps us to navigate um, with our content or with our context to then see what each element does. So for the day, we can say day one. For the time, we can say eight o'clock. Zero eight. Okay. For the person, we can say Silas. For the contact, we can say three three seven four five eight. For the location, we can say it is uh, Harare 
C B B D for our rate we can say it's 2.5 and uh, our percentage we can say it's 20 percent something along those lines so the reason why I then just gave these examples was to so 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 that we can have um, a formatting to see what each format does so if you remember the formatting we said this we remained at general this we actually moved to time this we moved to general as well this we put it as a number that we left it as general this uh, we put it as a fraction that we put as a percentage so in general we can then be able to see what each element does so i think for now we can end our learning here and then get to uh, the next lesson with something a little bit more practical and something a bit more ordered than uh, how we're just going through our learning for excel